don't usually have a partner in the hunt. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. It is customary to offer congratulatory statements. Thank you. If I were sentient, I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But, given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, that seems unlikely. I will add that to my list of similar incidents to see if I can make what few conversations we have remaining more compact in the future. If we do not see each other again, goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. Captain Reed. Hello. I am human understanding of physics has until now shown no indication that such a thing is possible. And yet, we have now encountered two individuals physiologically identical to unique humans we already know, possessing knowledge and technology that it seems improbable for them to otherwise have. It is indeed possible that they are telling the truth that this unity does exist. More data is required.
Practically speaking, it is entirely possible to duplicate my memory banks and replicate my functionality in another Model A unit. I would recommend speaking to Mr. Stroud about the costs of such a venture. you have all the artifacts, we should talk. So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled, and the Starborn assure that something will happen on the other side. Something that will make us like them. Bunny. I thought after all this time I'd be screaming in excitement to jump into the unknown, but I feel like I'm hesitating. <laughs> you always know just the right thing to say at just the wrong time. Say we go to the Unity. Become Starborn. Enter another universe. Will there even be a constellation there? It won't be ours, even if it is. <laughs> Smart ass. All right. Time for Constellation to head into the unknown once again. On your mark.
You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. Everyone says that when they hear themselves for the first time. But no, you don't sound like this. At least not this you. I am as much you as you are part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Do you feel dead? You are energy, and energy cannot be destroyed. And your determination has brought you to this place. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you, that something that makes you unique amongst the infinite, will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators. But not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question so that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysteries of the unending cosmos. Very well. Walk into the Gate of Light, and you will become Starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But, that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I've enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the unity right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving, as the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. Crix's legacy with the Crimson Fleet turns the Pirate Confederation from a mere scourge to a full-blown threat to other factions. The only thing the pirates grow to fear is each other. Return to your universe if you wish.
The hunter is reborn once again. His ethic of expediency and individual will spreads throughout the universe he leaves behind. Many will find the courage to rise and seize power from those who have it, for good or ill. The Constellation membership who stays behind Will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars. Although you leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. Who will you be in this one? What choices will you make?
I can assure you this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not go unanswered. We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shot. 
The well has been having brownouts all the time. Mast finally sent someone down there, but nothing's changed. Excuse me, this is a private. Wait. There's something familiar about you. Vasco, identify. Scanning. Cross referencing known employee records of our affiliated organizations. Please remain still. This appears to be the miner from Argos Extractors. Lost as we were carrying the artifact from Vectera. Current whereabouts previously. Unknown. I see. Vasco already delivered the artifact. So, why are you showing up now? You're a... I see. So some of our theories about the artifacts are correct. You're taking their word for it? What if this person's just delusional? Breathe in too many gases in that mining operation. Why don't we hear her out? We know next to nothing. We have everything to gain if she's telling the truth. All right, let's hear it. So, that's what we're looking for. The pieces to an armillary. A path to the center of a multiverse. This is either the truth, or the most elaborate practical joke I've ever witnessed. I think we're past the point of doubting, Walter. In any event, we'll be able to see for ourselves. We know where most of the artifacts are now, and presumably how we get them. I don't know if you should rush off to meet them. Some of those artifacts granted you powers, am I right? We should leverage that. I want you to check with Vladimir on the eye. Cross-reference what you've told us with what he's picking up on the scans. You track down the artifacts the eye finds, while we gather the others. And we are grateful for that, Starborn. Now, let's get those artifacts. I stand by my initial skepticism. So, we have a Starborn in Constellation. And you knew all of us from your prior universe. Even our secrets, perhaps. 
It's a bit unsettling, honestly. Do you have any idea how insane that sounds? There is no first time for me. You mean your first time. With another Sarah. But you're not even... I mean... Are you still human? How do I even know where to begin? So, I just ignore that you're a quasi-cosmic entity and just focus on the person you were before... all this. Fine. But no tricks. I don't want you racing to the end of something you know I'm going to say. Equal footing, all right? Well, you're part of Constellation, aren't you? I don't know if the rules technically cover cross-universe members, but why not? Starborn or not, you're part of Constellation now. I hope you're as committed to the mission as you were in your... Fine by me. Very well. Time to go? Other universes might exist. It's also full of... Possibilities. If what you said was true, my counterpart in your universe did quite well for himself. <laughs> Only natural, I suppose. I stand by my initial skepticism of you, but... You're not quite the angel I thought may have made the artifacts, but... Hello, Starborn. I will assist in Captain Reed. I will proceed to my assigned post. In many ways, you're very humane. I have no cons. Travel safely.
If it isn't the woman I'm supposed to know from another side, that was some meeting to listen in on. Starborn, are you? Right. To the grid of it, then. Tried crossing all the T's with the information you unloaded to Sarah and the others. I've got good news in bed. Good news is the eyes found what you're looking for. Bad news is they're not in the places you said they'd be. By last time, you mean your last time, right? Thinking if it's really a multiverse, then maybe the artifacts aren't always in the same spots. Well, helps that you gave everything we needed to track them down. Honestly, it makes my hair stand on end, like we're cheating time somehow. Here's the data. Managed to find a planet that might have one of those temples you talked about as well. Can probably find more temples if I have enough time to cross-reference. Come back when you've given the first one the thorough comb. Feel like I should be seen? The eyes showing signs over the nut. A stranger from beyond. <laughs> Even for an old crimson fleet, that's... that's a new one. about a year's worth of astronomy in a matter of moments. Everything you said was like a candle turning into a damn beacon.
You made it. I hope you're... I never get done. It's natural that your mind would go there. And it's not a simple question to answer. You stand now at the very center of space and time. Center being the best word to grant you understanding, but still not entirely accurate. The unity is what was, what is, and what shall be. It is nowhere and everywhere. Nothing and everything. It is the unity. Any other meaning is entirely up to you. All of you. The infinite only exists. Judging it makes no difference. I am as much you as you are part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Do you feel dead? You are energy, and energy cannot be destroyed. And your determination has brought you to this place. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself, that intent, a part of you. Do you understand what I mean? Much like the death of a star creating new kinds of matter, so will part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But, that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the Unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I've enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving, as the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. You are reaching the edge of the starfield. Go further, and you will return to your original universe. We will be waiting for you, should you come back.
Hmm? Something you need? Yeah, take a look at this. Then, Need a hand? What's good, Cap? This what you had in mind? You've got something for me? I don't usually have a partner in the hunt, yeah, but it's worked out. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Just... Holmes thinking. got the sanctity. I can't How wait to get to the Unity! I've been reading all about parallel universe theory, and I'm so ready to meet another version of me. You think it's okay if I call them Korra too?
You're right. We shouldn't assume that just because they're the second us we see, that they somehow didn't exist before. Look, Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. You don't think that's going to happen, do you? So that everyone else can leave me behind? You know what? I'm losing something either way, so... If I have a choice, I'm choosing adventure. I'm sure gonna miss the Lodge, but I can't wait to see what happens next. Ah, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the Eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Gilded our fortunes for sure. Ah, uh, I'm just an old blade in the dark trying to make good. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the Unity. Set Constellation's course for another new beginning. Not my first time at the helm for a crew, but going to take it slow. Uh, don't know about that. Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the Troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. I'll be smiling as you walk through Eternity's Gate. Give the next universe something to talk about, yeah? Don't mind me, Tipuri. Keep coming back to one thing. Both of these Starborn, they're people you know. Only they're not the people you know. Say and do things the folks you know would never. Doesn't bode well for anyone stepping into the Unity. Or through it, or however it works. You consider what it might do to you? Experience shapes the person, as much as the other way. And the unity sounds like an experience with an endless depth, with no hope to fathom. I doubt any declaration of intent will carry fate's hand there. If you don't want to talk, we don't have to. The Lodge doesn't feel the same, does it? The Lodge feels a little colder than it used to. So, the unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know can lead to a better place. Constellation has given me a home, and I will always be grateful. But I also feel... ready. Do you think we will see each other after the Unity? Will we even recognize each other if we do? Oh, that was already my plan. If we do not see each other again, then goodbye. I am proud of all that we have accomplished. If you are free soon, could we talk? Waiting for time's passage. 
I wanted to thank you for giving me the chance to work with you. I know we met under um, unusual circumstances. You seem to be acclimating well to Constellation. Are you enjoying working with them? It is certainly a less normal experience than most are used to, but I think that is a good thing. You have certainly become a vital part of the organization. That is a credit to your abilities. If I may, from what you have seen, do you think I fit in well with the rest of Constellation? I cannot tell if that is a compliment or an attempt to avoid the question. I will assume the former. I have a very different background from the rest of Constellation. I carry myself differently. I worry that some of the others are unable to see past this. I have not shared much, but everyone knows I worked with smugglers for years. I am no stranger to violence and death. <laughs> I might not admit this to the others, but at times it was. <laughs> I do not regret this, but I do know how it makes me seem. For those that have not lived it, it can be difficult to imagine or accept. Others here have seen conflict, but for more noble causes. Vladimir is the only one here who can begin to understand. He was the one who pressed the group to include me. I lack his charm. He puts others at ease. I fear my presence does the opposite. Jokes do not come naturally to me, not the way they do to others. If, if I try, it only makes things awkward. It is strange. I admit it has never been an issue before now. I know this seems trivial, uh, perhaps childish. I have just always relied only on myself. I have never been surrounded by people like this, by a group I, I wish to be a part of. Does that make sense? Yes, perhaps I should. They have taken me in after all. Discussing these things is challenging for me. I hope now you can better understand why I wanted to keep the circumstances of our meeting quiet. I wanted to thank you for not saying anything to Vladimir. I know that you said you wouldn't, but it is still a relief. I would like my contributions to Constellation to amount to more than violence. It would have been, to some. Thank you for talking this over with me. It is good to know that at least one member of Constellation understands me. I have things I wish to discuss with you, when you have time. So you chose to kill the Emissary. I do not necessarily wish to second-guess you, but I do not understand your reasoning. On the surface, at least, the Emissary seemed the more reasonable of the two options. A very calculated move, but I suppose I see the logic of it. I know that the Emissary was not Barrett. Hey, Want to hear a poem I wrote? At least not the Barrett we it's knew. It's called a haiku. But I just read did about their identity make it a any haiku, more difficult? Huh? Well, sounds exciting. Let's hear it. Okay. It's called Space. 
<clears throat> Space is cold and dark. I can appreciate that. Starships it was an incredibly like difficult comets, situation in which to be placed. Us home. But now I suppose there is a single clear path forward. And it means working with the hunter. I hope that will be enough to justify all of this in the end. I, I just... I want you to know that I recognize that you have been forced to make some unbelievable decisions. You are a valued member of Constellation and an ally. I will trust your judgment and stand by you until the end. I am glad and I am happy to give it. I know you have much on your mind, so I will not keep you further. But I will be here when you are ready to take on whatever is next. Can we oh speak for gosh, a moment? Oh my this again? <laughs> I don't know how else I can phrase it for you. I just consider it a victory, however minor, if I can use my mouth to get me out of a fight instead of into one. Oh, you. <laughs> hey, don't ever change, uh, Andreja. Maybe we should get back out there? Staying at the lodge. Hey, uh, well, we're talking about what could be an infinite number of parallel universes, right? If that's really true, how different do you think they are? Like, are they really similar to this one or really weird? Is there one where we're all lizard people or one where time runs backwards? What do you think? That'd be cool! But wait, would I be all old like an adult? Or would I be a kid in charge of everything? I think I'd rather be a kid. Well, I kind of do hope it's all true. It really would mean that anything is possible. Has Cora ever mentioned what type of weapon she might prefer? A particular fighting style, perhaps? Um, no. Because she's 12. She could make a very skilled fighter. The sooner she begins learning, the better. This is one of the weirder conversations I've had lately. I would be happy to show her a few things. I will consider that. Maybe. The lodge doesn't Thanks, feel the same, does it? The lodge is still seems home. more distant in the lodge. We'll make it feel that way again. I guess that is to be expected. All those credits. And you just handed them over to the Crimson Fleet. The pirates, the ones known for robbing, murder, and general betrayal, they will be good allies? Are you listening to yourself? Are they? They will inflict themselves upon who knows how many more because of the resources you have handed them. Is that the kind of legacy you want to be a part of? Your selfishness knows no bounds then. There are things more important in this life than credits. And I know that you know that. This is where you choose to have conviction, then. <laughs> I find your decision disappointing, to say the least. I'm not sure when things will feel... So... What? Oh, crazy. There's nothing like an investment paying Just... off. <laughs> We've succeeded <laughs> beyond know, my wildest dreams. Everyone should feel proud. Everyone freaked out. Two shots and I went back to my Oh, no. This yeah. moment isn't about my corporate yeah, holdings, no. Being part of Constellation was... just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. <laughs> Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, 
I'm afraid the saying, you can't take it all with you, has caught up to me. There might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I would be a poor choice of company if I was, well, poor. You know what? I owe you that. Maybe once this all dies down, I'll take another look at our charitable efforts. The streets of Neon sometimes produce a true diamond in the rough. We shouldn't wait for the next one to just fall in our laps, fresh from some mining excursion. Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks, Bring light into the darkness of the unknown. Hmm? <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, counter to everything I've said and believed before. Sam, have you considered I've caught myself wondering if we ever should have started this search. Um, if this no, is all true, she's 12. or worse, never too so maybe... Begin training. Skills take time to develop. No. Look, I trust any of us far more than the Starborn. You can feel it, can't you? The lodge just feels empty. I've thought about it, and as much as I would love to see the unity the way Keeper Aquilus has experienced it, I'm not coming with you. Thank you. I know this is probably coming as a surprise. I think I need to look for my answers here, in this universe. And I can't leave my parents. I know they would understand, but they're not getting any younger. You too. I know I'm flaking out at the end, but I'm glad I was a part of all this. I know you have explained it, but I am still having trouble. Oh my gosh, this again? I hope it is not annoying. It just does not make sense to me. <laughs> I don't know how else I can phrase it for you. All I'm saying is that given a choice, I'd much rather talk my way out of a fight than slug it out. M but why would you wish to avoid a fight? Oh, you. <laughs> Don't ever change, Andreja. Things are gonna be rough for a while. Lodge has wounds that need healing. Coming up on the end of a long ride here. We got all the artifacts. Are you ready for what comes next? Might not see each other on the other side. Hey. This face is a co-family institution, I'll have you know. Probably some obnoxious bust of it lying around the estate somewhere. Hey, listen, uh, you're probably wondering about Cora. I played it over in my head a thousand times, and I've made up my mind. She's coming with. I know what everyone's gonna say, but even if I told her no, she'd find some way on board that ship. And if we stayed behind, We'd both regret it. I'm sure plenty of the others won't like it, and I'll be worried like no tomorrow if we don't end up in the same place. But I gotta keep telling myself that Cora's ready for this. And hey, same goes for you. If we don't see each other on the other side, it's been... Uh, <laughs> all worth it.
So you made your choice, and the emissary is dead. I'm like either of those starborn assholes, but I gotta be honest, the emissary was easier to stomach. Why'd you have to kill him? Yeah, I could see that. I definitely got the read that there was more to the story. So all this metaphysical philosophy, do you buy it? To the hunter, everything seems to boil down to power, plain and simple. Might makes right. What's all this mean to you? He made no bones about what he's about, that's for sure. Still, these calls you're making are uh, impossible. Crazy, even. I just want you to know that I'll back your call every time. Sure. I might bitch about things after. That's the benefit of not being the one in the hot seat. I guess destiny awaits. I can't believe I just said that. Don't mind me. Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to talk with you about. <sighs> that girl. If Cora leaves her tools out one more time... I mean, I love her more than life itself, but I can only say the same damn thing so many times. <laughs> That's Cora to a T. I mean, this is between me and you. But Cora wasn't exactly planned. I don't know if I mentioned, but I served a spell in the Freestar Rangers. Had a partner, Lillian Hartz. Man, we were like fire and ice, but, uh... Well, that wasn't all bad. Understatement of the century. Hell, yeah, when Cora was born, I was... Completely out of my depth. For the first few months, I kept thinking what a colossal mistake I made. Me, a father. But one late night, early morning, whatever, little Cora gave me my first smile. And I knew I'd do anything for that girl. Well, Mrs. Lillian Coe was right there with me. As bad as I had it with nursing at all hours, I know I had it comparatively easy. But that don't mean those first few months were good by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah, yeah, big old mean Sam Coe loves his daughter. Alert SSNN. <laughs> There's something you said to me. About parents wanting children to learn from their mistakes. Now that Cora's getting older, that's... That's what haunts me. I've, uh... I've done things I'm not proud of. i <laughs> said things even worse. I try to be better for Cora, but... Is she gonna fall into the same traps? And that's the truth there. I know it seems crazy, towing her across the stars, but I'm not exactly swimming with options here. Her mother, like I said, another story another time. And what, have her raised by Jacob, my dad? I'd sooner ship her off to Vladimir. I have all the faith in the world in you. You'll keep us safe. And trust me, I'll make sure Cora's fine, too. Waiting for time's passage is the only cure for Constellation's wounds. Dad, Sorry, I have you plain ever forgot what I wanted her? to talk with you about. What was it like? <sighs> that girl. I mean, I love her more. The Lodge doesn't feel the same, does it?
So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some good readings from your ship. You have no idea how excited I am to analyze the data after you jump to the Unity. I'm gonna make some coffee. Pull an all-nighter. What? No, no, no. I do not do field work, especially not the restructuring yourself at the molecular level kind. Or whatever the Unity actually does to make you starborn. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and we're both staying here. Someone has to keep Constellation going with so many people leaving. It'll be pretty quiet at first, but that's what Constellation has been doing forever, right? An old generation moves on, a new one moves in. Okay, I promised myself I wouldn't cry, <laughs> and I'm sticking to that. So, goodbye. I'll miss you all. Constellation is no stranger to loss. Our own founder left on an expedition and never returned. It is easy to talk about the glory and excitement of breaching into the unknown, of lighting the darkness. But it is harder to stare into the face of the cost. That all of our progress is built on top of the lives of those who dared. And that we owe them the courage to continue our work in their memory. Thank you, Sarah. If anyone else would like to say a few words. Thank you. If anyone else wants to say something... Hey. How are you holding up? Just don't forget to take time for yourself, okay? Plenty of rooms if you need to sit down and be alone for a while. We'll get through this. It might feel like everything's falling apart, but that's why so we need to stick together. Instead, I thought I would quote something that any time a long time ago. Is we should God have a talk real? when you have the time, of course. The more proper question would be: Is reality divine? Existence itself is a mystery which yearns to be uncovered. What is goodness but a comparison to the good? What is existence but a participation in being? For where the diversity of the universe inspires awe and wonder, it exists only in contrast to a simplicity so pure that it may only be understood as primordial and even divine. Our essence 
is what was imagined by its mind. But what we consider imagining and what we consider mind are in fact so far beyond our understanding that even these metaphors are like the tiny white caps on a massive searching sea. There's more, but those are the parts that speak to me the most. I, um... Thank you. That was really thoughtful, Mateo. Thank you. Does anyone else want to say anything? I don't often speak about what I believe in. It seems so redundant with how I live. But death is one of those occasions where it's hard not to look inward. Our friend is gone. There's no afterlife or second meetings. No God in heaven that is curating a perfect ending for me. So it's up to us. We are what lives on. If the pain of loss inspires us to greater action, then that is the good that comes from all this. Humanity is what truly creates our world. We are the ones that judge things to be good or evil, joyful, or mournful. Let us take responsibility for it. Let us remember what we have lost. Walter, are you part of the House of Enlightenment? I never knew that. Yes, well, I like to keep some things private. However, I know Barrett would have appreciated the sentiment. A loss is always hard. Constellation will get through this together, like always. Take care of yourself. I hope this is all okay. Between fixing things up and sending out messengers and getting all the paperwork done, it's not much. Good. I... Good. Sorry, if I talk any longer, I'm gonna start crying. Um, could you excuse me? I just need a little time to myself. I don't believe we met. Ajay Mamasa, former chair of Constellation. I wish the circumstances of my visit were better. Unfortunately, this isn't the first Constellation funeral I've been to. After 35 years, you say goodbye to a lot of friends. I hope you don't mind me saying, but I feel numb just thinking about it. I was the one who invited Barrett to join. Oh, he was so brilliant. Even if the rest of us couldn't always keep up. <laughs> oh yes, I was Sebastian Bench's protege. If that gives you any idea of how long I was part of our little club. Exactly the same as when you met him, I bet. All smiles. Saying just the wrong thing at just the right time. You don't mentor someone like Barrett as much as you let him go and try to contain the damage later, eh? <laughs> ah, yes. I officiated his wedding. 
Ah, young Irvin. I told him he was signing up for a lot with Barrett, but he didn't care. I bet relationships in Constellation are still messy, aren't they? We're more of a family than an organization. All the formal lines bleed together. It makes the losses sting harder. But I hope it means the time you had together was all the more important. That's how I like to think of it. Anyway. Knew him. Argued with him. Tried to carry on his memory when he vanished. Sebastian will be back tomorrow, we always used to say. <laughs> it reminded us that he was still here. In the bones of this old building. He never mentioned that. I suppose he didn't want to talk about it after what happened. The colony war took so much from us all. Chat for a bit? Normally, I hate talking to people at funerals. But, well... You don't believe in the afterlife, do you? I mean, this might be the worst time to bring it up, but... Hmm. That's an interesting choice of words. I suppose that's why I'm an atheist. All this talk of death and judgment... gets in the way of the real work. Well... I've taken up enough of your time. It almost feels wrong to be grieving, selfish. No amount of tears will bring the dead back. Yes, we don't have a way of knowing whether we really touch the departed with our grief. We just have to have faith. It's just easier to feel guilty, if you'll excuse me. Morale in the lodge has been measurably reduced. I am told these types of gatherings are a sad occasion. That assumption appears to be correct. Correct. I would say that I appreciate your candor, but we both know that would only be a simulated response for your benefit, not unlike the way people say sorry for your loss, even when they clearly are not experiencing any signs of regret. If you would like, though, I can add some consoling language to my programming. It will take some time to adapt, but it will be okay. How was that? I will note that feedback for later. Ceremonies for the deceased go back thousands of years to early human history. I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. So many people here. So many people saying goodbye. Uh, is this supposed to make everything okay? Make everyone feel better? That's my point. Nothing's going to change. 
Yeah. I thought not. I... want to be alone for a while, okay? Hi again. Everyone is in mourning. I understand, but I cannot quite share in their emotion. After the shock of what happened faded, I have felt nothing else. Just a numbness. I have seen death. I have lost people I considered close. But this is... It is not the same. I cannot explain why. I am not sure I am making sense. I am not sure I agree. But... Now is hardly the time to debate it. This is harder than I expected. Drink? Pour one out to the Blackest Sea? Two old friends. May their ghosts go past the edges of space, to the great beyond. I. Is it quieter in the lodge, or is it just me? Death is a bastard. Comes for us all. You know, there's an old Aquila story about two pioneers who got lost trying to find a new frontier to settle. One of them takes ill. Clear he's not going to make it, he turns to his partner and says, Don't bury me. Let the ground take what it's due. I'd rather be a ghost chasing after you and walk through the pearly gates knowing an eternity of loneliness until you get there. Sad story, huh? You look after yourself. Uh, when the time's right, I'd appreciate a chat. Lodge sure feels like a lonelier place. and I were just discussing the expenses incurred during the attack. No, I was explaining that there's nothing to discuss. It's been taken care of. It seems that Walter has taken it upon himself to cover the costs of the repairs to both the Lodge and the Eye, as well as any expenses relating to the... to the funeral services. Barrett, for all his antics, was an essential part of this group. And a friend. Well, it's not about looking for thanks. I just... It needed to be done, that's all. Well, I can't thank you enough, Walter. Sarah, I know we argue about money all the time. Has Cora Most ever mentioned what type of weapon she might prefer? Not. A particular fighting style? This is the one where I can best contribute um, to our no, work. Because she's 12. It has been. I trained at an early age. And continues to be well the years. an honor. This is one of the weirder so. conversations I've had. And when this is all over, we if can she go is back winning, to squabbling about minor to work expenses. I will consider that. But it was important Maybe. to me. Thanks, I think. That I do this. Fair enough. Well, since we're already talking about this, there is one more thing I'd like to do for Barrett, and I'd appreciate your input. Nothing extravagant, just a small plaque here in the lodge. Something to remember them by. Where do you think would be appropriate? Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's certainly some place everyone will see it. Any objections, Walter? No. I think this is a fine idea. Then it's settled. I'm glad we had this discussion. And now, perhaps we can try and move on. Yes. I think that's right. I know you have a lot on your mind oh, right now. I know you. But I thought you might need a moment to I talk. Still having trouble. Pulling the trigger on Barrett oh gosh, or the again. emissary or whatever that I do was. Not wish to be it must have been terribly I difficult. Do not understand. I don't know what to tell you, kid. It's pretty simple. Still, All I'm saying is it can't make it any easier of a pill to swallow. I wanted to know how you feel about but what's happened. You wish to Do you think you've made the right decision? Oh, you. <laughs> Don't ever change, Andreja. In this case, the strongest choice wasn't necessarily the smartest choice. If I'm to be completely honest with you, siding with the emissary would have been a better way to handle the situation. This selfish crusade of gathering the artifacts that the Hunter seems to favor. I don't know if that's what's best for the universe. It was. It is. Oh my. I've completely mucked this up now, haven't I? Damn. I'm not trying to pretend that I have all the answers. So, please, don't think that this is somehow a criticism of your actions, because it isn't. Look, no matter how this ends, whether I agree with you or not, I want you to know that I'll continue to support your decisions every step of the way. We're the closest of colleagues. Nothing you could do at this point would ever break that sacred trust. Of course. I can't have any of my underlings in Constellation wallowing in sorrow now, can I? Anyway, I know you have a lot of soul-searching to do. There's quite a journey ahead, and serious plans to make. Just know that if you need me, I'll be here for you. Always. What can I help you with? Okay. Never regretted coming out of retirement. Constellations got the writ of the. Sorry, I plain forgot what I wanted to talk with you about. Constellation, no. <sighs> that girl. Yes, ma'am. Of course. Cora leaves her tools out one more time. Being I mean, I love her more than life. It's... Just making sure. Right. Oh, next time I see her, I'll. There I mean. No of opportunities. I don't know if I mentioned, but I had a partner. Okay. Maybe not every single day is a dream come true. It wasn't always like. Hell and Cora. For the maybe, first few months, I kept thinking. But one late night. Yeah, sure don't feel like it. And there's something you said. Now that Cora's getting... I've, uh... I try to be better. Maybe. I know it seems crazy, towing her... Her mother... And what, have her raised by Jake? You think? And if she just learned to pick... I hope Cora doesn't get too much underfoot. Yeah, I was done too. We've always considered ourselves explorers, but this really is uncharted territory. It's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir. It's silly, but I can't stop thinking. Even just one more Noel is great. How different might they... My head is spinning. Well, I'm glad you seem so certain of that. I'll admit, I'm not that sure. At all. Stay safe, okay? Read any good books lately? I don't know about you, but a fella could do a lot worse in Constellation. You're doing Constellation proud. Captain Reed, do you require farewell? <laughs>